Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel guys. Pisces, I don't know, I don't know, but I think the last two readings, actually the last two readings and the last short, I believe those are Pisces male, right? So if you're dating a Pisces male, be cautious because he's on the move and he's leaving people. If you're cross watching and you're dating a Pisces male, be careful because he's on the move and he's leaving people. Uh, just so you know, somebody's on the way out the door. Okay, so I touched this deck. Spirit said go with it. On the bottom, guys, we have a storm. Holy Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? Guys, don't forget to like the video. Apparently, YouTube has something to do with the likes. If, if it doesn't get liked, then they don't promote the video out there on the side, the right side where the DJ shows all that stuff. I don't know. But please like the video. Like I hear other people like, we're begging for likes, we're begging for likes, and I don't want to do that. I just, uh, I just, just don't. But if you like it, like it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If you like me doing all this work, Pisces, then, you know. <laughs> all right, Pisces, what's going on, guys? Let's take a closer look, Pisces. Let's do some digging. Talking, text, call, email, interested, awaiting, waiting, a message to arrive. Somebody may be thinking about sending you a text or an email. They're definitely interested in reaching out to you. Pisces, somebody's thinking about talking, texting, some kind of a way. Reaching out for communication. Pisces, this is your soulmate. So connection, partnerships, possibly marriage, some type of agreement. Betrayal. So this person was betrayed. This could be, they could be dealing with some pain, some deception. They're shocked. There was infidelity. Uh, and a separation. So Pisces, maybe this person wants to talk to you because now they're like, oh, that's my soulmate because they've been betrayed, right? Mm -hmm. Pisces, they're coming in with love. They're gonna express their love to you. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about sending you a message. And um, yeah, so that's that. So Pisces, somebody you know, somebody that know you've been betrayed, right? They've been betrayed, and now they're thinking that you're their soulmate. Maybe you are. They're definitely going to reach out to you. This person's been betrayed. Or maybe this person betrayed you, right? And now they're realizing you're my soulmate. It can go either way. Holy Spirit, who is this wanting to reach out to Pisces, and why? What should Pisces do? Holy Spirit. That's a lot. You're not going to do all that. Spirit, that's a lot. We've been here all night. I don't want to be here all night. I got another channel I need to pull for. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Building blocks. So they're thinking about building these blocks, stacking these blocks a different way. This person was dealing with some chaos and some conflict. Pisces. That was the betrayal. So now they're trying to restack these blocks a different way. They're definitely thinking about reaching out to you because they've been betrayed. They're dealing with some chaos and conflict. Pisces, maybe you're easy to talk to. Most Pisces are. Pisces always lend their ear, lend the shoulder, and everybody dumps on us about their relationships and who's this and who's that. We do that all the time. So Pisces, somebody's about to dump on you, right? Because they're going through it. They're definitely thinking about texting you. And they have love in their heart. Pisces, this... This situation here is blessed. I don't know. This could be a blessing that's coming to you. It could be a blessing, Pisces. It's coming to you. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Yeah, this person here, it's a man. It's a man. This person is in grief. They're sad. They have a choice between two. They have an angel and a devil. There's two ladies here. The man is sitting here holding her head like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. So somebody's in grief, sad. They've been betrayed. This is the main man here. That's the main person. So it's a male. So they've been betrayed, Pisces. Now they're thinking about you, thinking about calling and texting you. They're hoping for success and love with you, Pisces, if they reach out. I guess after betrayal. They're hoping for success with you. 
This person is having gloomy thoughts though, Pisces. They're sad. They're upset. Somebody's hurt, Pisces. And they're going to reach out to you. They're going to start with a conversation. And then they may tell you that they was betrayed. And they may not. Here they come, Pisces. Eight of Cups in reverse. Maybe they feel you two have unfinished business, right? This is an emperor in reverse, ace of pentacles in reverse. Something ended in their life. A lack of stability. Something didn't work. They could have lost it all, could have lost money. And they're giving up, Pisces. This person's giving up. Mm -hmm. They're going back to their ten of cups. You. They're coming back to their soulmate. Mm -hmm. Person from the past, six of cups, ten of cups, six of cups, both upright. So Pisces, they're going to reach back out to you after they've been betrayed. They have regrets. They probably regret ever walking away from you because this stuff here, whatever this was, Pisces, this didn't work. But I think they're going to come back and tell you the truth. Seven of swords in reverse. Pisces, they want to come back and tell you their story. Let's see if I can get them to confess a little bit. Spirit, what is their story? Any of their story in this deck here? Come spirit for Pisces. It says, I just want to love you completely. Yep. So they went out there, Pisces. They tried it. They said, I feel like I lost you. I love you. I'm just not good at showing it. And on the bottom, Pisces, they are mentally drained from this, that, and the other. So this person, Pisces, they're coming back to you. It's like they went out there, they tried it in the great big world, and the great big world turned them out, right? And then they realized, oh, that's my soulmate. I think a lot of people are scared of soulmates, the terminology of soulmates, or what they think it is. It's really not a bad thing. It's like, it's, it's your mirrored soul. It's like, come on, I can't get any better than that. Um, but Pisces, they're definitely going to come back to you. Yeah, they're stressed, they're unhappy, and they've been betrayed. And now they're thinking about that good old Pisces and that shoulder that we just lean to people. You know, we just hear, you can use my shoulder. Go ahead. Blow your nose. That's what we do, Pisces. That's what we do. We love people, right? Holy Spirit. Pisces, I move my I move my mic closer, right? I moved it closer. I hope it sounds better. Holy Spirit, what does the future look like for Pisces and this person if they do return and Pisces allows it? Sex in the city. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Union. Pisces, this will be a union. Y'all will come together. Holy Spirit for Pisces. Tiffany and company, are you ready to pick out our wedding bands? Well, damn, Pisces. So, you gonna end up marrying this one? You may. It's your soulmate. They love you. They just had to go test the waters. I want the world to know that I love you. Radio City Music Hall. Guys, uh, Sex in the City deck is based off of New York City. Friends and family. Pisces, they just want you. They just want you. They want to have their friends and family. They want to be together. They want to do all those things, Pisces. They went out in the big, big world, and the big world bit them in the ass, and now they're coming back. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe.